Hello friends, today we are going to study about basic proportionality theorem. If a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points, the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. You will not understand anything from this. I am drawing a figure so that you come to know. They are telling if a line is drawn parallel to any side, if I am taking a triangle ABC and I am drawing a line parallel to BC, like this, and it is intersecting at two points, one on AB, give that point name D and give that point name we can see triangle ABC and line parallel to one side and we have to prove that this line divides the intersecting sides in the same ratio means we have to prove AD upon DB is equal to A upon AC given DE parallel to BC nothing else and we have to prove to prove that AD upon db is equal to a upon ac it is so simple just we have to find the height of this triangle and few concept which we are not knowing actually are look here if i will make this a triangle d e b it is an obtuse angle triangle, if I will do it properly. We come to know that where will be the height of this triangle. Whenever a triangle is obtuse angle triangle, we are getting the height of that triangle outside that triangle. Means if I am drawing this height, again I am making this triangle so that you come to know. Triangle A, D, E is there. So here dn will be the height but this is also the side of height of triangle deb if i am making here deb this en is height of ade also and this en is height of obtuse angle triangle deb also this concept generally students are forgetting and whenever any teacher is explaining this is sir by this side this is the height of this triangle it is not inside the triangle but in up to single triangle we are getting height outside the triangle. now second here height we had given n name to this now we will give a name m to this height and this will be obviously height of another triangle that is D, E and C. D, E, C means N e is height of triangle A, D E and triangle D, E, B and D, M is height of triangle A, D, E and D, E, C. This you have to make it little bit clear so that you come to know. Now, we want to prove AD upon DB here equals to A upon. So first we want AD upon DB. For AD and DB we need two triangles. Triangle AD means AD is in that triangle and DB will be in triangle DEB. So area of triangle ADE upon area of triangle D E B. We know area of triangle is half into base into height. So here height will be first we will write half, then base A D and height N E. And in denominator, this is the triangle. So what will be half into base is D B. Sorry, D and D B and height outside the triangle that is any we can cancel it and we will get ad by db result number now we want a upon ec so we will move on the other side now again the same triangle this a is base of that same triangle 
so area of a b e upon area of now this side so triangle d e c d e c again half into base into height half base will be a e as this side and height will be d e n upon again half now in this triangle base will be ec in height will be same only dm half half cancel dm dm cancel ae upon ec is a number 2 now look here in numerator both the triangles are same only but in denominator one is this triangle deb and one is this triangle dec so can we say the area of these two triangles are equal deb and dec yes we know that in lower standard we had learned if two triangle having the same base look here this two triangle is having the same base i am drawing it again this is d e b means d is the base from that d only i am drawing one more triangle d e c two triangle having the same base and if they are between the same parallel they had only given us that d e parallel to bc because so this two triangle is having the same base and between the same parallel so we can they said area of d e b equals to area of d e c this is number 3 what is the reason you will write two triangle having the same base and between the same parallel so we can say that the area will be equal. now look here numerator were same and denominator we had proved in result 3 <coughs> so from 1 2 and 3 we get directly these two are equal denominator equal so these two will be also equal directly from 1 2 and 3 we can say that ad upon db equals to a upon ac hence proof so this way easily we can prove basic proportionality theorem thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos for you thank you so much